Hi everyone, so this is definitely an unfamiliar site for a lot of you and a new experience for me. I don't do chatty videos, I'm not going to get into the reasons why. Um, I'm Irish, I've been blessed with, or I suppose a lot of people would say cursed with, the gift of the gab. I love talking, I could talk all day and I don't want this video to be too long, I want to try and keep it short and sweet. So today I'm doing an empties video and I decided I'd do this type of a video because in my makeup tutorials, you're just seeing me use products. You're not really getting to hear my opinion on products. Sometimes you do, but majority of the time, I'm just kind of teaching. So I thought this would be just a kind of different video um, to do and it'd give you an insight into which products that I like and which products that I don't like. So here we go. So I have a huge, huge bag of products here um, that I've been hoarding for the longest time because I just haven't had the confidence to do this type of video. But anyway, here we are. So the first product that I've got is the Garnier Micellar Water. Now I actually have quite a few of these in here. Like I have maybe about five or six bottles. I go through this like wildfire. Um, I use this cleansing water as like a pre-cleanse. So I'll soak a couple of cotton pads in the solution and I'll run it over my face to take off my makeup. I always use this especially for my eye makeup, I don't use anything else. I don't like to use my cleanser to take off my eye makeup because it kind of leaves my eyes, I suppose, a little cloudy you could say. But yes, so I'll use this as like a pre-cleanse. I'll take off my base layer of makeup with it and then I'll go in with my cleansing routine. So I'll cleanse, tone, serum, moisturise, all that jazz. This product is really cheap, it's around five euro or so I think. There's loads of different types on the market now. I mean, lots of brands do micellar waters. This is just my favorite personally. I think it works the best and it's definitely the most affordable. Um, I pick this up, as I said, it's usually around fiver. It's always on offer. Um, if I'm picking it up actually on offer, it'll be in Tesco for about a fiver. I think it could be around eight euro would be maybe the most that you'd pay for it. Pennies have a cheap um, kind of all the time. So if you were near pennies, I'd say that would be the best place to pick this stuff up in. Sticking with my cellar waters, the next one that I have here is the Bioderma one. Now, this is really expensive. Well, in my opinion, it's expensive. <laughs> it's about 16 euro for the 500 ml bottle. And this is a 400 ml bottle for about a fiver. So big price difference. Everybody and their mother goes on about this. I only tried it for the first time last year I think and I picked it up half price and to be honest that was the only reason why I picked it up Um, I never would have paid the full price for it because I just can't justify spending 16 euro on water and I'm so glad I didn't because I actually don't like this product and that's probably a really unpopular opinion but to me it just I had to use quite a lot of it to take off my makeup and then it left my skin feeling quite tight and quite dry. I just felt it stripped my skin. And that's not an issue that I have with the Garnier one. The Garnier one kind of leaves like a bit of a residue on my skin, which I suppose isn't really a big deal because afterwards I cleanse my face anyway. But my issue is this one just leaves my skin feeling quite dry and tight. And this one doesn't. So no, I definitely won't be repurchasing this. It's not worth the money. Um, for starters and I just don't think it's actually a good product. So the next product I have is this foundation here from Revlon. It's the Revlon Colorstay Foundation. I've been using this product for years and years and years. It's one I always go back to. It is in the kind of pricier end of the drugstore, but definitely well worth the money. It's about 17 or 18.99 and I always stock up on them when boots have a tree for two. So you save a bit of money there. What I really like about this foundation or this kind of range, I suppose, is that there's a lot of shades available and they also do a formula to suit or two different formulas to suit different skin types. So you've got the normal to dry skin one, which is the one that I use, and then you've got a foundation for oily to combination skin. I just find this product, it's really full coverage, which is good for me. I've got acne prone skin and I've got um, kind of lots of scarring and things like that and I like a full coverage. so. It's full coverage, it lasts all day long, and it's just a really nice foundation to wear. I use the shade 110 Ivory when I'm pale, and as far as pale foundations go, 
it's actually quite good like it is quite pale still not pale enough for me but I take it down the neck and that kind of solves that um, and when I'm tanned I use the shade 300 golden beige and it's just again a really nice shade that matches well with tan so yeah like I said it's one that I always go back to not the cheapest in the pharmacies chemist drugstore whatever you like to call it but definitely one that's worth the money so next up I've got the NYX HD concealer in the shade CW04 this is one of the kind of more warmer toned shades in the range and I used to wear this when I had a little bit of fake tan on. I wouldn't use this for kind of concealing spots or anything like that. I use it to just give me a little bit more coverage on the face and to add a bit of a brightening effect. So I would add this underneath the eyes to the forehead down the centre of the nose and the chin and yeah the formula was really nice it doesn't cake up it gives nice full coverage and yeah i really liked it at the time but my only kind of critique about this with this product was that it just i couldn't keep it in the tube it just it was just it was just gone so, so quickly and it is a cheap concealer so i mean that's not the end of the world but i just I mean I've never ran out of a concealer so quickly and I didn't find that I was like I don't use a lot of concealer so I couldn't understand what the story was but a few other people have actually said the same that I don't know whatever it is about this concealer it just runs out really quickly <laughs> so it's about eight euros so not the dearest again but I while I did enjoy it at the time I've since found another concealer that I like more and it's actually cheaper so and on that note the concealer that I'm talking about that I prefer is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. So no, I don't repurchase the NYX one anymore. I think I did go about go through maybe about four tubes of this, but since I picked up this one, this one has gone by the wayside. So, the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer is unreal. And I actually picked it up by accident in a chemist one day. I went in looking for the NYX HD concealer. My shade wasn't in stock. I was looking for something else that was kind of cheap and just, I just needed a concealer so I was willing to pick up anything. And that was when I spotted the Catrice one and that was, I don't know how many months ago, but I haven't looked back. This is my holy grail concealer. I haven't come across one that rivals it. I think it trumps the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. The coverage is fantastic. It doesn't cake up. It does increase. It lasts all day. And I, yeah, I just really like it. The one that I use is 010 Porcelain. And yeah, so definitely, definitely pick this up if you haven't tried it already. I go through them like there's no tomorrow. They're brilliant. So the next foundation that I actually have in here is the Max Factor Miracle Touch Liquid Illusion Foundation. Again, this is another that I've been using for years and years. And I don't actually hear a lot of people talking about this foundation and I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's the only one that I use if I'm going on a night out um, because I know that it's not going to budge. What I love about this foundation is the fact that it's a cream foundation. Now, this one actually it'll dry out on me so there is a little bit of product around the side but yeah so it's a cream foundation and I find that I can apply this in layers and build up the coverage I could apply three or four layers three or four light layers I should say and it just it doesn't get cakey it's it's a lovely foundation it matches really well with my tan it's another kind of I suppose pricier foundation the drugstore it's about maybe the 18.99 mark but like I said before, I pick it up on the tree for two in boots. The vast majority of the time when I'm applying a foundation, I'll either use a sponge or like a flat top kabuki brush. But with this foundation, I like to use one of the old school painter style foundation brushes. And what I do quite literally is I paint the product onto my face. So I use downward motions to apply the foundation first and then I go back and forth up the face kind of in a horizontal motion just to make sure that there's no streaks and it all looks flawless and it always does so yeah really nice foundation it does come with a sponge but like I said I don't use it so yeah one I always go back to. Next up I've got a very battered looking Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Before I used this I thought it was a bit of a gimmick and I was actually given this um I can't remember if it was in a goodie bag or something like that but I didn't buy it myself and I was nearly hoping that I didn't like it because it's 30 euro I'm pretty sure for a bottle and 
I just kind of couldn't justify that. Like to me it was like spritz some water on your face, a really expensive water. I know when I was using it at first I didn't really think this was, you know, making a difference to how my makeup looked at the end of the day. Um, and that was until actually I stopped using it for a few days and then I really noticed the difference. I was like, oh my god, it actually did work and I was lost without it. So I know some people use this for like special occasions or nights out and things like that. I use it every day because it makes my makeup last all day and it makes it look amazing and you know, why wouldn't I want that every day? So at this stage I've gone through maybe around three bottles of this since... January 2016 I think I just I couldn't be without it it's brilliant for making your makeup last all day long but it's also great for making pigments and glitters and things like that stick or if you've got like a shimmery or metallic eyeshadows if you pick some up on your brush first spritz your brush with this um it'll then make that eyeshadow pop so yeah a great multi-use product and well worth the money so next up I've got a similar type of spray, it's the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. So as the name suggests, it helps prep the skin. It claims to reduce redness, um, it's pore minimizing, oil absorbing, blah blah blah. This to me, it just it, it didn't do anything. Like this actually was literally like spraying water on my face. 30 euro water <laughs> for that matter. It didn't do anything for me and no, it's one that I won't be repurchasing. So I've got a mascara now and this is actually just like a sample size of the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. I went through a good few samples of this. I got them in like a press pack and this is the only mascara that actually stays on my I forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes. No! <laughs> How did I forget that? Oh, anyway. I'm raging. But anyway, we'll move on. So this mascara is the only one that stays on my bottom lashes when I remember to apply it. But yes, it's a fantastic little mascara. Like I said, I got samples of it and then I've since repurchased the full size. I just can't be without it. It's around 26 euro, which or 24 euro maybe, which is dear for a mascara being that it doesn't last that long. You have to change it up quite often. But yeah, it's just, it's worth the money for me. Like I know a lot of you have actually commented um, on previous videos and have asked me why, like why haven't you applied mascara to your bottom lashes? And it's literally because any other mascara that I'd used just wouldn't stay on the lashes. It would um, smudge down under my eyes. So there was just no point in me applying it until I discovered this one. So yes, if you have that same problem, give this one a go. You actually won't regret it. I mean, this at this stage now doesn't even need an explanation. It's the Essence Liquid Ink Waterproof Liquid Liner. And I mean, what can I say? For Euro, you need it. So I've got another skincare product here. This is the Human and Kind 3-in-1 Wash Off Facial Cleanser. So this is like a hot cloth cleanser, kind of similar to the Liz Earl one. I had actually ran out of my Lizara one at the time and that was how I ended up picking this up. I completely picked it up at random. Um, I was looking for something different to try out and my skin is, is quite problematic and I don't change up products too often. I had tried out a moisturiser from Human and Kind before and it, my skin took to it really well. Their products are all natural. They're an Irish company too which is great. But yeah, I was scrolling through their website and I came across this product and it was only 15 euro for your 100ml cleanser. I think there was free shipping as well and you got a washcloth. So it was a good bit cheaper than the Liz Earl one and when I got it, tried it out, it worked really well. It took my makeup off really nicely. Um, my skin takes to it like a dub to water. It's just, it's really nice. So I've been using this for about five years now at this stage. Um, it's one of two cleansers that I use. Um, I have I just go through bottles and bottles of it. It's really affordable, really nice, and yes. So, so I have a couple of more items left. Well, left that I'm gonna talk you through. I have a huge bag of stuff here, but I don't want it to be too long, too boring. But this is another skincare item. It's the Vichy Aqualia Thermal Serum, Thermal Serum however you pronounce it. Um, if you're new to the whole world of serums, if you've never tried any before, this is a good one to start with. 
it's kind of sensitive skin it's very hydrating and it's not too expensive um it's been about maybe six months or so since i've repurchased this i actually forgot how much i loved it until i've seen it in the bag here um but yeah so it's one that i'm definitely going to repurchase again it's around the 25 euro mark which for a skincare item to me that's good quality isn't dear so yes if you're looking to start out with a serum i'd say try this one I think I'll finish up with a perfume and this one here is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Now I haven't actually got the little flower on top, I'm not sure where it is to be honest. But this is a really nice floral scent as the name suggests. I'm brutal at describing scents so I'm not going to go into top notes, base notes, all that jazz. All I'll say is it's a really nice floral scent, especially for this time of the year. I actually got this first I think for... I think it was for my 21st birthday and I haven't been without it since. If you haven't tried this yet, you don't know what it smells like, go into a counter in Debenhams or wherever that you can get perfume near you and just take a sniff. Get a sample, it's really, really nice. But yeah, then that's kind of it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and it was okay. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get better at the whole talking to the camera thing. I'm still a bit awkward about it. But anyway, sure look. You gotta start somewhere. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below and I'll get back to you soon. So thanks a million for watching and I'll see you later.